Dorothy Waldron, co-owner of the Forest Hotel and Apartments. Thanks for joining us here on Channel Vision. Oh, it's great to be here today, Steve. Thank you. Now, Dorothy, let's let's start with you as a person. Are you a Canberra girl? Tell us, tell us a little bit about your history. Yeah, I was born in Canberra, um, and I'm actually third generation Canberran. So my parents um, were born here as well. Yeah, it, look, it's a it's a city that um, has grown obviously since I was a little girl. Um, we grew up sort of going to the Manika Pool and um, walk, obviously walking to school, walking home. Very safe city. I think it's still a lot of those elements are still there today. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a great place to be. I mean, especially on a day like today, beautiful autumn day. Yeah, that's right. Now you've got your own family here now, so you're bringing up your own children here as well. Yes. Um, so th let's let's talk about the Forest Hotel and Apartments. Very nicely situated location-wise. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, the Forest Ho Hotel and Apartments is um, a three and a half star hotel and four star apartments, where um, our location is really our greatest asset. We're the closest accommodation to Parliament House. We're a five minutes walk from Marnica. And um, yeah, we're in the, one of the older parts of Canberra, so in terms of walking and the lake and the attractions, it's all, all nearby. Yeah. But I, because we're a family-run business, I think that's probably our greatest asset. Because yeah. we um, tend to attract staff that are, are family-minded and we like to, to treat our people and remember their, their names and, and look after them when they come. Okay. So as you say, you are, you are located in perhaps one of the oldest sections of Canberra. Tell us a little bit about the history of this establishment as, as, a, as a hotel or an inn or yeah. however it started. Well, I think actually when it did start in the 1960s, it was a very smart um, hotel, it was a very smart motel. So um, we've actually got some, I can, uh, some great old photos. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's a really, yeah, it was quite the place to be. People stayed here because it was nice and close and I think probably good value for money. Now, so tell us a little bit about the facilities that the hotel provides to its clients. Yeah, look, we've got 76 hotel rooms and 40 service department. We have a conference room overlooking beautiful parkland setting. Uh, we have a restaurant and deck area overlooking parkland setting as well. We've got obviously laundry facilities. Um, we have um, room service available in all the rooms. Uh, yes, we do a great breakfast, um, complimentary espresso coffee, and yeah, and, and just a great place to stay. Right. Okay. So it's it's a well well serviced uh, complex, if you like. Yeah. Um, so let's let's talk about your conferences and functions. What sort of things can you cater for in that? And what sort of facilities do you have for that sort of business corporate end of the market? Yeah. Look, the conferences we can um, seat up to seventy people theatre style upstairs and then about um, 35 boardroom style. Downstairs we, um, in the restaurant, we actually are open for functions as well, sort of uh, lunchtime or, um, or dinner. And we, um, we can do 120, we, we, including the deck area, which is, yeah, so it's a, a nice little function, yeah. Yeah, okay, and the sort of facilities that you can provide with your function rooms, what sort of... Uh... Yeah, look, we, with the function room we have um, all the AV equipment included. So we've got um, drop-down screens and um, whiteboards where you can write on the whiteboard and it comes out on the screen. But uh, the, And the other thing is it's actually natural light and it's um, fresh air as well, so it overlooks beautiful parkland setting and I think people feel like they've been away for the day when they come here. That's, that's the corporate function end of things. Now, as, as an organisation, you, you are, are heavily involved with the community here in Canberra. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the things that you get involved with here? Perhaps the national attractions and... Uh, yeah, certainly. Sort of um, we always package up for the uh, exhibitions at, at the National Gallery of Australia. 
at the moment there's the Renaissance exhibition that's on and so we um, sponsor the Renaissance, Renaissance and that always brings a lot of people to Canberra. So we do things like bed and breakfast packages and include a bottle of Renaissance wine with that as well which is always really popular. And we're about a 25 minute walk to the gallery, a five minute drive. Um, we also have that sponsorship arrangements with the National Library. The other, the other things we do in terms of community things are um, we do Australia's Biggest Morning Tea, which is on the 25th, 24th of May this year. And so we, um, we work with the uh, Forest Primary School across the road. So we supply morning tea to the Forest, Forest Primary School and then we have morning tea here and we have a silent auction. We usually have a guest speaker in to tell their story. And it's, um, we've been doing that for 15 years now. Yeah. And um, people look forward to it every year. And I think it also gives people uh, a place to go, somewhere yeah. that they can, um, they can go to obviously remember, in some cases, their loved ones that have passed away or, or even just you know, like con contribute to, you know, to sort of um, finding a cure for cancer. Tell us, tell us a little bit about your staff. Oh, look, we're very, um, you know, we're very fortunate at Forest. We've got a fantastic um, and dedicated team. And I think they're very family orientated themselves, actually. I think that's sort of what attracts them here. Uh, Craig is a fantastic chef. He's um, come from uh, like a very five-star environment and he, li he likes the relaxed family feel of the hotel. Yeah, look, um, we, we, Mahesh, uh, our front office um, operations manager, he's been here longer than we have. And also, um, we, look, I, there's so many, um, Annette, our housekeeping, everybody, everybody is special and I could obviously can't uh, name them all, but we have, we're very fortunate to have such a great member. Um, uh, Mark, my brother and I work together. Mark's the general manager and I, my position's director of, of sales, but we're in small business. Yeah. So, that means you do a bit of everything. Yeah. My mother is, um, she's, she's very much involved in the business still. She's here before we are each morning. Yeah. So when we come in, and um, we usually have a cup of coffee to start the day, which is really special. Centenary of Canberra next year, 2013. What 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 sort of um, involvement will the Forest Hotel and Apartments play with the 2013 celebrations? Oh, look, we look very much. We're very much involved. Um, we'll um, we'll obviously package up for a lot of events that, that are going on. Um, we we're, we've been in touch, you know, with the with the committee and with Robin Archer, and we. Um, we plan to do a lot with them, so I think um, I think their approach um, to Canberra is really exciting. I think they're going to actually sort of tap into a lot of events that are happening anyway, and really sort of base it on building community. So, yeah, look, we're really excited. We will probably sort of be involved in most things. Yeah. What next for Dorothy Waldron? Oh, look, I think, um, like, you know, just to continue sort of doing what we're doing here and, and really we've been refurbing for about six years, so continue to improve um, the Forest Hotel and apartments. And, um, yeah, look, there's always marketing opportunities, there's always new things coming to Canberra. It's a very dynamic environment and it's just as, you know, really it's just as if there are only more hours in the day, but, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. Every day is a great day to come to work, it's fun. So Dorothy, if people want to find out more information about Forest Hotel and Apartments, um, what's the best way they can go about it? Look, we've got a website, mm -hmm. uh, www.foresthotel.com. Uh, that, I think just about everything's on that website. Yeah, so, so, so but probably the website's got all the information and uh, you just come along and have a look and, and just give us a call and you know, pop in for a coffee. I'd yep. love to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Dorothy, it's been great talking to you today. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Steve. Great to see you again. Mm -hmm.